We've got five seconds on the clock before the next game starts here. Um, elite men's grand final. We've got a white as Victorian team and black as WA as they get off. First minute down in this game, and we have WA doing a nice big strong push on the far side of the wall, up into the far corner. Victoria doing a good job trying to keep him on the wall and keep it away from WA's forward line, bringing it into the middle. As we have uh, another plane leaving over the top of us from Cairns. WA going for a bit of a push here. And it's screened over to the far corner. Once again, WA doing a nice job trying to bring it around to the middle. Victoria, last man, drops in to try and intercept it. It's managed to knock it back underneath the player and one of his forwards has picked it up. But the referee is going to say barging against Victoria. WA free puck. Nice attacking position. I see Gav there. As a fullback getting ready to drop down and take it. Well cleared there by Victoria. WA trying to drive it forward. Open curl there by Victoria. And looks like Hunter does a good job coming to crash in and try and get it. And then Gav coming in as well. And referee right in the corner there, right next to our camera, saying chopping by WA. Victoria trying to drive it out, but good steal there by WA as he curls it around and pushes back, but ref's not happy. He says there was a stick infringement against WA. Victoria free puck. They're going to switch it to the right here. He swims forward on a slight angle, draws the player and goes to Chipper, but knocked down. Well done there to WA left forward as he circles it around for Gav to take it. He does a nice wide curl and chips it into the fray. They're continuing to push it forward. They're about five, six meters out from the tray, right in the middle of the court. And a little bit of breakout there, but WA tries to get it through. But nice job clearing it there by number 13 for Victoria. Referee is going to be... Unhappy, but it's only a penalty against Victoria. Great position again for WA. They've had a couple of these in the last four minutes of this game. Takes the puck, does a nice little chip there, and then Hunter does, oh, nice job. Hunter bounces it off the, the second tile off the wall, and it bounces on the lip of the tray, and Victoria clear it. I'm not sure, but I thought that almost went in the tray there, but referees didn't see anything. We have a referee playing advantage now, who's right next to the WA sub bench with plenty of subs going in and out. They've got five in the bench at the moment. I don't know. I don't think they're communicating who's coming in and out. Victoria's got five in the bench. As they've tried to push it up further. They're continuing to push WA back. With only five players in the pool. One, two, three, four, five. One of them has worked out what's going on. And luckily for Victoria, the referees have said illegal knockdown by WA. And they have six players back in the pool. <laughs> 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 
Victoria trying to get it through. Well done there by WA forwards, knocking it down and pushing forward themselves. Nice little bit of a break out there and then well double teamed by the back line for Victoria. Good body position there from W8. Picking out the puck and trying to move it forward but the referee is, is unhappy with him. Stick infringement. Victoria free puck. Left half of Victoria takes it, he looks to his right, he chips it over to the to the next player who then chips it straight forward. WA has intercepted this, and nice job with a bit of a runaway. I reckon he would have got that one, but a legal knockdown against WA. A couple unlucky opportunities there for WA. Victoria taking the puck here, he goes to go to the right again, draws the player in just far enough to get it around the outside. We have one of the referees playing advantage here and he's going to pull the play up. Against WA, another illegal knockdown. Victoria free puck, it does a nice big flick into the middle of the scrum. W trying desperately to get it out, but Victoria managing to move it to the side and flicks it over the top. I reckon that bounced off the back of the tray. One of the referees on the far side. Yes, they've called it a goal. And I believe they're awarding that to Philippe, cap number 10. Vic up, 1-0. Nice curl there from Gav as he flicks it over to Hunter. Oh no, just to his right wing, right half. You see Gav coming down there a little bit, getting ready to block the play up to stop Victoria getting any momentum. Referee on the far side saying against WA, obstruction. We have uh, three of the WA boys going for a sub. One of them was a bit of a late decision. Victoria trying to move it up the wall. Hunter doing a curl and he's going to try and go for a backline switch here. Gav's got the puck. He's going for a bit of swim. Throws it to the off half. Victoria down. He's got a couple of Victorians on him. But he throws it over and gets it to his left forward who takes it on a nice U all the way up the other wall. they got some momentum going. Victoria need to be careful. They don't let him in on the inside. WA's got numbers down ready to pull it into the lip. But Victoria screen it and drive it to the wall. But... WA managed to do a nice big flick and it across the tray saved by Victorian player. Hunter just beaten out there by one of the Victorians. Underneath the, their own sub bench. Victorian sub bench, but referee calling against Victoria, a legal knockdown. Nice quick decision by Hunter there, going for a sub. Oh, just as everyone was getting ready to go down. Victoria have called a timeout. Giving themselves some time to regroup, restructure and be ready for the play.
Hello to everyone on the chat. Keep all the encouragements coming for both teams. It's going to be a nice, long, strong game. Six seconds left in this timeout. WA are going for a power play here. They're all lined up for a box formation. Victoria screams out to try and intercept, but WA doing a good job having lots of numbers down and just surrounding the puck and continuing to drive forward. But the referee on the far side, on the lip of the tray, has pulled play up for gloving against WA. Once again, pressure's off for Victoria with a nice defensive free puck. Couple of players, new players subbed in. The buzzer has gone, but they have not taken it yet. Oh, there he goes. Referees are getting ready to pull that play up. WA looking to go for a switch, and then he continues his curl all the way around and then gets a nice bit of a drive. He's got it off to the right forward there. He's got some speed on him as he brings it forward. Victoria getting down in time to try and shut the play down and take it over to the corner. One of the refs isn't happy. On the near side of the tray, it's going to be against Victoria. Let's see if WA can finally capitalize and score here. Gav's going to take this puck. He's pushed his right, forward, right half forward. Takes the puck. Good jump out there by Victoria. And Gav does a, tries to back flick it into the play. And Victoria's got some numbers down and trying to screen into the side, and they have made it. WA. Oh. WA trying to drive it off and it go out and around, but Victoria got has hit it well with, on the right angle to manage to get their own speed through the line. Play is slowly being opened up here. Dangerous for Victoria. Uh, they've managed to push it to the far wall. Oh, we also have a guy, the vice captain for Victoria, sitting out. So it is a 6v5 situation overlap for WA. And they managed to capitalize. Well done, Shannon. Nice goal there for WA. Four of their fellas now get to have a nice bit of a rest on the sub bench. Four new players. Let's WA have a 6v5 opportunity. Victoria once again having five players in the bench with a player out. So they were with four there for a couple seconds. As they come screaming out here with a nice collision but good uh, punch through by WA. Um, referee on the wall side is going to say barging against Ben Rupnik. So it's a Victorian free puck right in the middle of the court. Must be a meter to the far side of the exact center of the court. Victoria taken. They're going to go to the wall. And they're slowly making small gains up the wall. And WA pinched it. Slum it to the middle, flicks it to his off half, who brings it over to their sub bench for a break. Exactly where WA wants this puck at the moment, other than in the opposition goal tray. Victoria getting ready for a counter attack here. You see the backs getting ready to drop down as it's moving into the middle of the play. And taken back to the wall. And the referee on the far side, barging WA. So a Victorian free puck. Nice attacking position for him. 6v6 hockey. Nice jump out there by the forwards for WA. All three went that time to try and... Oh, a big back flick there by the Victorian forward cap 13 guy. 
I'm trying to get it past the backs for WA, but unfortunately can't get it there. And WA have managed to move it back underneath their own bench. And one of the referees right in the corner there is pulling the play up against Victoria, barging. Thirty seconds on the clock. It's wrapped up at one all at the moment. Right half for WA takes it, throws it into the scrum. They make a little bit of meters out of it, but they haven't made it to halfway yet. It's still under their bench, and we have a bit of advantage. And now the play is going to be pulled up, and they're going to say WA barging. A few fresh subs coming in here for Victoria. They should have some good strong legs ready to take this one. The buzzer has said it is half time. Half time in game 151, which is the Elite Men Grand Final of the 2024 Australian Underwater Hockey National Championships. And the score is tied at one all between Victoria and WA. WA in a nice tight huddle with one of their players who is sitting out of the game crouching there beside them having a chat with them all as they have a nice little WA chant before they all get ready for the second half of the final. And an update from the bronze medal match which is being played on the other court. Queensland A are winning 3-0 over New South Wales. In their and they're in their second half. Oh, half time. Game about to get underway here now. WA gets to the puck first, playing black, and they're going right to left on your screen, and Victoria going to go left to right as they manage to sneak it out from the WA forwards and go on a reverse 45 to keep possession of the puck, and he's going to be able to try and pass it over to the side. WA got his nice numbers down here on either side. Nice save there by Guy as he pushes it underneath the WA players, and well done here by Victoria. <laughs> WA was waiting for him on the other side. If it had gone into the middle, they were in trouble. Victoria cycling the puck around. And Caden doing a good job keeping it on the wall. And one referee was playing advantage, but another one has called the play up. Obstruction, Victoria. 
Couple fresh legs coming in here for WA and Victoria. Let's see if WA can uh, take advantage of another free puck in an attacking position. Gav's pushed his left forward up, so he's got four options. Takes the puck, he goes wide, he goes into the middle, and he tries to throw it forward. He slides it across to his left half, he then tries to smash it through to his forwards. Forwards are down, and they're going to try and pull it, but breakout by Victoria. Illegal knockdown. Another free puck here for WA. Nobody taking a sub, everybody just lining up and getting ready. One of the Victorians going for a sub break, though, he needed it. He's made it back in time to line up and do a nice pull down to get into position. Gav takes the puck, moves to the right, throws it into the middle of the scrum. Looks like Victoria is doing a little bit of work, taking it to the side. WA managed to slide underneath the player, but we have play being pulled up. Barging, WA. Ah, two different refs calling the same foul against different players. So, one ref was saying against WA, another one was saying against Victoria. Chief referee saying, I saw that ref call the play up first. And a couple of WA players go for a sprint over to the bench as they've got an absolutely perfect position. Five meters out in the center of the tray. Takes the puck. Nice jump out there by one of the Victorians, but nice throw through there by WA. Victoria is sweeping out, but he flicks underneath his bum towards the tray. WA desperately trying to get along the back wall, but one of the refs is going to send someone out here. Sending him out for two minutes. WA is now down a player. 6v5. One of the... Vic uh, sorry, one of the WA forwards had to come back after he was screamed at by his players on the bench so they could have three backs in. Generally like to play with having all your backs in the pool as it, WA's done a nice job taking it over the far wall and even reversing and losing ground but keeping possession to keep phase two hockey. That's James Ardell. Out for WA again. I believe he was out in their previous game as well. But we have a barging foul against Victoria, taking the pressure off and having the clock tick away on James's penalty. Right half for WA. Going to keep it on the wall. They need to keep it nice and close so when James is ready, he can just get into play. James is walking along the wall to get back to a good spot to come in from behind. Victoria got a push on here though. Referees are still happy with play. It's gone right up into the corner. James is anxiously looking at the clock. He's sitting down. The rest are saying it's time to get ready. WA doing a great job with only five players, just trying to keep it in the, in the right in the corner, not letting Victoria get access to the puck. They're going to move it up slowly. They're up past the meter off the wall. Two meters, three. They've got a bit of a breakout, but referee going to slow play up against WA. Barging. So I believe that once the puck is touched, James is going to be allowed to jump in. Let's see if he can do what Sean Hartley tried to do in the Masters final. And come in from behind to intercept the puck. He's in. He's going to dive. He's going to go all the way into a four-way rotation on the back line. His WA are desperate, but Victoria have slid it underneath the players along the train into the goal. Not sure who they've awarded that one to, but Victoria is now 
WA trying to drive it through there. He does a nice steal and curl around. They're going to take it over on a 45 across the play. Victorians trying to scramble underneath the Victorians and drive it forward. And they're gaining some meters up past halfway. On, and they're going to try and want to bring, start bringing it in off the wall. WA doing a good job keeping them on the wall, though. Just surrendering ground to ensure that they stop the goal. As Victoria opening the play up here, you can see he's trying to feed it underneath the WA last line of defense, but the referees, I've got two referees calling again. Against, yeah, they both agree. Stick infringement, Victoria. Gav taking the puck. What a legend he is. Going to have it, throw it forward to his boys. Oh, nice little underbody back flick there by Victoria, but the referee at the back end of Victoria is going to say, no, you guys fouled, and push him back. Another WA free puck. About three metres behind the dead centre of the court and metre to the near side as Gav goes to go right and then throws it straight up the line. Knocked down by Victoria, but they're going to say free arm against WA, and they're going to say it's against the strike. And Victoria's got a free puck now. That was against Shannon that time. The fullback, uh, one of the players takes it, and they're going to throw it over to this near side. Nice long flick there. And Victoria going to keep trying to drive it up, but the referee right next to the WA sub bench has called play up against WA. He's looking at someone. He's sending someone out for two minutes for a deliberate barging. And that's James again. Buddy, you gotta, you're going to have too many fines now. And we have a referee timeout being called. They're going to stop the clock until James is out with his bum on the seat. And Victoria, 6 v 5 WA trying to hold him on the wall. Nice strong drive here by Victoria. I hope he turns his stick over so he doesn't glove it up the wall. Ref saying nope. And pushing him back. WA free puck. Couple of the boys jumping out. I see Ben jumping out there now. To get some fresh legs in the forward line. Hunter's been pushed over by the fullback. Surprised that Gav decided to try and check it, take up the middle channel rather than fighting on the wall. And they're forced to, to underneath the sub bench for W8. And Victoria trying to push forward here. The backs from WA having to jump in and try and stop them going around them. Play has been pushed all the way to the far side and they're going to try and come in again. But the backs for WA doing a great job. Just under six minutes left in the game. Victoria doing a nice big click. Great knockdown, Hunter. Lucky you had uh, one of the forwards sitting just on the other inside of you there. Nice job bringing it over underneath your sub bench. And popping in for a sub. Nice job, buddy. And referee is going to call up play. Ref in the corner. What's he saying? No, nah, one of the other refs is not agreeing with it. And they're going to call a ref timeout. Oh, we have a uh, Victorian being kicked out for a headshot. I believe that's number six, Campbell Blake. So it's 5v5. James is going to be in soon too. But it, it is going to be a Victoria free puck as WA, with seconds left before play restarted, called a team timeout.
to be underway. The fullback for Victoria has pushed his right half, which is Guy up forward, and it's, I think it's Kevin Chisholm there is the, the fullback. Going to take the puck. The referees are still discussing the play from earlier. And then we now have a referee timeout being played, so neither clock being run down for either player. Well, one of the refs may be trying to send a second up, second Victorian player out. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they'd enjoy playing with four though. But here we go, Victoria taking the free pack. Nice jump out there by WA as he forces them over to the back wall. He does a Victorian player does a nice shovel under his body, and there's a big scrap. Lots of barging by both players, and the referee right in the corner, not happy, and he's going to tell someone off here. He's given a warning. No, he's sending him. Sending Guy out for one minute. <laughs> Seconds left for James. With two Victorians out for at least a minute. One of the Victorian forwards is being told... He, lo he lost his uh, snorkel. One of the Victorians who is being told and screamed at by his other players to get out so they could have another back end. Lost his snorkel, turned around and went back to get it before going to the sub bench. Luckily, you can see that on your left-hand side of your screen there, you can see that player on the bottom. I'm trying to intercept the puck, but nice one-two motion there by WA, trying to move it around the Victorians and drawing, releasing well. WA coming in here on this near side wall to hold the play up. James is in, and one of the Victorians is in. It's now, it's now 65 for WA. Hunter getting in there to do some work. Bit of a different position for him, normally playing a forward. But he's been forced to learn and play a back with several of the WA players unable to play in this competition. And it's 6v6, he's in, but can he get there in time to have effect play? He will, because one of the referees is calling play up. Oh, Double penalty, stick infringement and barging against WA. I see Andrew giving Hunter a nice little slap on the head saying well done. And Victoria trying to get it up here but nice curl and drive again by the left half for WA. Illegal knockdown against WA though. So Victorian puck, another couple WA players and one Victorian going for a sub break. Exactly three minutes left in the game right now. There's no real pressure there by WA on that uh, free puck for Victoria. I think Kev would be happy about that as he got a fairly decent flick off. And nice scrum and both sides here trying to rotate the puck around. And WA gonna try and move it up the wall. Nice push pull there. I think that's Hunter driving it up. Oh no, one of the other players has managed to drive it up. Nice little swerve there by Victoria, bringing it back to the wall. And they're gonna push forward here. They're past WA sub bench. That was a nice work there by Guy. Doing a double team and driving it up the wall. And we have Mason doing a good job there. Just looking around and curling back onto the wall to keep possession. And driving it forward up to the bench before WA push them back. Nice scrum being played here. Just in the blind spot between our two cameras. And we have 
WA having one of the subs come out. Opportunity here for Victoria. He does a nice curl and trying to drive it around. WA got numbers down, but nice body position here by the Victorians and cleared. Ah, oh, well done there by WA bringing it over to this near side wall. The referee right in the corner is going to say obstruction by WA, however, and give Victoria another opportunity at goal. One of their players, Victorian players, is going for a sub break. So they're going to have one of the one player with nice fresh legs coming in. Forward coming in now. See Hunter there getting ready. Oh, nice hit, Hunt. He's going to smash him back up the wall. But the referee on the far side is... Oh! Sending a player out for a minute. Wasn't happy with uh, one of the Victorians. 65 for WA. As they are down by one goal against Victoria, they need to take advantage of this opportunity with only a minute and 15 seconds left in the game as it's been screened over to the far side. And we have advantage, and now play will be pulled up by the referee on that side of the court. Against WA, obstruction. Last two minutes of the game, the clock will stop with every penalty that is called. Victoria is taking their free puck. And by the look of it, they're going to try and drive it up the wall for a little bit more before they cut it in. WA has got a bit of a breakout here. He's brought it over to the near side wall. And then going to, before he made it there, he's hit by Victorians who recycle it back into the middle. And the referees are pulling play up against Victoria, a legal knockdown. Fresh forward coming in here for WA. They're going to need the extra legs to convert a goal to tie the game up. WA takes the puck. They're going to try and move it to the near side, but Guy smashes it back into the middle before Victoria going to try and screen it to the side with their fullback. But WA have picked it up with curls and then goes forward again and flicks it, but the referees have pulled play up. He's going to send someone. He's chasing someone for two minutes. Victorian out for two minutes. And the Victorian's quickly sending one of their forwards out. Unfortunately, he's the forward who just came in fresh off the bench as Victoria desperately screaming for a team timeout with 36 seconds left on the clock. So they got James Ardell as left half, Gav in the center, and Mason on the right for WA. They've got Bushy as the left forward. I think they got Shannon as strike. And I can't quite see who they've got as their right forward. But I think it might be I think it might be Tommy as their right forward over there. Nice strong powerhouse team here after a minute's rest. 6v4 in the pool. With 36 seconds to score a goal. And it's only going to be seconds before one of the Victorians is back in, so they're going to have to do this quickly. Shannon dropping down early with a nice pull down. Swan dive there by Bushy. Gav takes the puck, throws it forward. A bit of a scrum going on. Nice positioning here by some of the WA players there on the, sh on the shoulders of the Victorians. Pinning them in, driving it forward under their bodies, throwing it back into the middle, swerving around, and then curling it around to try and get possession. But cleared, cleared by Victoria. It's 6v5 for WA. Victoria desperate in the corner there, dying seconds of this game. They need to keep it in the corner, recycle players through, move it up half a meter and take it back. WA moves it open into the open, he flicks it onto the edge of the tray. Did it go in before the buzzer? No. Victoria win. The puck was less than half a metre out when the buzzer went. Unfortunate WA. Well done, Victoria. Good game. Victoria coming out on top.